Okay, I am making a video. It's going to be a very, very probably long and as thorough as I can make to show inside, outside, underneath, everything I can show on this silver streak that I have for sale. So I'm going to be listing it here in the next couple days and I want somebody to see exactly what they're getting because I know a lot of people, I know gas is expensive. There's going to be a lot of people in different places looking at it. So Hopefully you catch this video and it answers questions because I don't want to sell somebody something that they don't know what they're getting. So if I haven't gone over it in this video and I missed it, please leave it in the comments and I will do my best to make another video or answer the question if I can. So backstory on this trailer. It is a 1982 Silver Streak 3411 Supreme. So I acquired this trailer a couple months ago. I have the title. Everything is titled as far as the VIN goes. The VIN matches. Um, the VIN matches the title. Um, there's a VIN tag. I'll go over it on the hitch that's stamped. That's factory. There's also the factory VIN identification number tag that looks like a piece of foil that will be on the driver's side over there. I'll go over that. For some reason on the title... I have no idea why, welcome to Arizona maybe, it is considered a different brand trailer. And if that's a deal breaker for you, I can't change it. That's the way they inspected it. It's clear it's a silver streak. And uh, for some reason, the title is an Arizona clean title in my name. It will have the VIN that matches, but it is called a Keystone. And I don't know if maybe in 1982, if Keystone was the manufacturer of Silver Streak, I don't know. But they would not register it as a Silver Streak. So it is what it is. If that's a problem, find a different one, I guess, because I can't do anything about it. There's no inspection I can have done. It's just, it is what it is. But just for peace of mind, the legal Arizona title in my name with the matching numbers that match the trailer is all it all jives other than the actual manufacturer name of silver streak like i said it says keystone i don't know so now that i got that out of the way so it has an arizona title it's ready to transfer to anybody everything matches other than the name okay so i got this with the intentions of basically gutting the whole thing i got it because the body is in really really nice condition and if you see right over here i put up a ledger I was gonna build an RV port, put it right in here, um, back the thing in, make a nice little patio and turn it into an Airbnb. And in the meantime, we changed our mind in the last couple months. We are going to build a room and build a casita over here. So the trailer, I really don't have a need for it anymore. So <clears throat> with that being said, that's the backstory. That was my plan with it. I have done nothing to it since I got it other than maybe kind of clean a couple things out. So this is a trailer that will need a ton of work. So if you're looking for something that you can go camping in right now, this is not the trailer for you. If you have property off grid somewhere and you're handy and you want to make it a cool little hunting camping trailer on your property, it's perfect for that. And you have to be handy because it needs a lot of work. So don't be looking for a perfect silver streak. If that was the case, the price would be five times as high. So going around the front, I towed this thing about 200 miles. It actually towed really, really well. Um, I don't believe the lights work on the trailer. I want to say, yeah, I did have them hooked up. I don't think any of the lights worked on the trailer. Um, it's a 2 and 5 16 ball, pretty standard. The, uh, the hitch or the um, jack works like it should. It has a place for leveling bars that somebody put on a long time ago. That's your battery box. There's no batteries in it, but the leads for the batteries are there. I've never messed with it. Underneath the cover here, you have your two side pieces that will cover this. They're in good shape. This cover itself is in good shape. It opens and closes like it should. So up front, everything's good. It's got chains in case you want to tow it home. It's got safety chains. So going around this thing, we'll start at the top, the awning. I ran a strap around the whole trailer when we drove it a couple hundred miles just because I didn't want that to blow off because there's one piece that should go right there to secure it. It's on the front and the back. The front piece is missing. So my solution was just to run a piece of rope around the whole coach and that held it for the 200 miles that I've driven it and everything was fine. And with my intended purpose, 
I never needed a canopy anyways, or an awning anyways, so I was actually going to sell it on one of the Silver Streak sites if somebody needed it, but you might need it, so it's there. Um, for some reason, the windows did have duct tape on them. This stuff just comes off. You can see it kind of kind of flakes off. I never messed with it. I didn't get to cleaning any of that stuff off. It's literally just been sitting. So we'll go around it. The door's in okay shape. This door handle, the, the factory door handle, works just like it should. Um, opens and closes easily. The, the key for the lock turns like it should. This had original house um, deadbolt on it at one time. And you can tell somebody at, at one time, I don't know what they did, pried it open? I have no idea. But yeah, so there's that. This part of the, I have to move back. This part um, opens from the inside and that opens and you have like a little screen door. It's kind of cool, the screen's ripped, but that all works. So going over this thing, the step pulls out like it should, I believe, I've had it out. So I'm just gonna go piece by piece here. And I know it's gonna take longer than what most people like, but like I said, I want somebody to see exactly what they're getting. So these tires, I took these tire, or I took these wheels off when I got it, before I hauled it, and I pulled the hubs apart. I re-greased the hubs and I got brand new tires. They're brand new trailer tires as of probably two months ago. They're in perfect shape. This thing's ready to tow anywhere. It will tow anywhere. It tows very easily. It drives straight down the road. It's, it's good. So as far as that setup goes, you guys are set, whoever buys it. I don't think I've ever been inside of there, but I think that's supposed to be the backside of the refrigerator. I don't know. I've actually never been in there either. It could be filled with treasures. I have no idea. So there is that piece that the front should have. And my solution to get it home was some vice grips. And uh, they're kind of locked into place right there, keeping that because there was supposed to be a nut. And I was kind of remote with my location. And this worked to hold it. So, yeah, that's the piece right there that is supposed to be on the front to hold the awning. So, all right, continue going around. Let's get my camera. Like I said, this is going to be a long one because I want, I want people to see what they're getting. So you can see stuff down here. This is like a... I don't know what that is. It's like kind of like gooey stuff. It's almost like the stuff they would put around windows. So it does have, like it has had water and you can see that it's got like electrolysis, I believe is what these are known for. So while the top of the, the top of the body is in really nice shape, it does have spots on the lower part where the steel frame has been touching it and that created electrolysis, I believe. Um, so there's a few spots like that and there, but um, yeah, so going around really really minimal dents like if you look down the side it's very very straight and that's why we we're going to use it it would have been a perfect airbnb parked in one spot with a nice deck off of it would have been bitching so the silver streak trunk is still in good shape i've actually never gone through this either oh well, there's a spare tire with some man that's a cool wheel it's very era correct it's probably the original spare so some parts and pieces and jack and insulated and stuff like that. So the back bumper is in good shape. That is your power that comes uh, to a power pole. I believe it's a 30 amp. I've never had this thing plugged in, but somebody was living in this RV. So there was a, a person that was living in this RV for about seven months. So, I mean, everything had to work, I guess, good enough for somebody to live in it. So going around, here's more of that electrolysis I was talking about. So in the very bottom pan, but like I said, the top part is in really nice shape. That I believe is the electrical panel inside of there. Water heater, uh, original water heater. I don't think that works, but I don't know. Like I said, I have no idea. Um, when I acquired this uh, trailer, the tank, had stuff in it and I had a local company come out for $120 and they went through the whole tank cleaned it flushed it they had their pump truck out here and they wanded the inside of it so the the shitter tank should be really really clean I mean I paid for it so I'm hoping it's really clean um, and then somebody at some point decided it would be a good idea to replumb this trailer in PEX and I will show you that job on the inside they did not do a good job, but for what it's worth, at least I guess they use PEX instead of PVC. So, continuing around, you can see, no dents, 
Oh, there's another compartment there I never knew was there. I think that's actually a jack access. Um, the jacks were down, so the jacks work. The like stabilizer jacks. Oh, I was told that the roof air conditioner was just service and works. I cannot confirm that. Um, from the looks of it, I don't know how that could be the case, but that's what I was told. So, like I said, just plan on putting work into this thing if you're, if this is what you're looking for. This is not a tow and go type situation where you're going to be out camping the next day. This is a, uh, it needs love type deal. But with that being said, I know what it is. I'm not going to sell it cheap. I just sold my Spartan. I know what vintage trailers are worth, so don't think I'm an idiot and throw me a stupid offer. So, <clears throat> all right, move around to the inside. And that's the inside is where stuff gets really interesting. All right. Oh, there's that screen I was talking about. So basically you undo four points, three points, four points, and that opens. Okay, I'm going to stand out here while I do this. Somebody at some point, probably in, maybe it's factory, I don't know, put this terrible floor in here, and pieces of it were coming up, so I ripped it up. It, it really, I'm just going to full disclosure this, I would really gut this thing beyond the floor, like or actually down to the plywood that's on the floor, because there's not any of this flooring, even back there, that's really worth keeping. I mean... I guess if you're really on a budget, maybe you could throw a carpet over it, but that's kind of hokey. So we'll go around the front. I'm going to go panel by panel, side by side again, and show you what exactly it is. So there's that stuff. All these cabinets seem to work like they should. So they spring open and they have all the, the closing devices. They're somewhat clean inside. I don't know if the radio or cassette player works. Probably not a deal breaker for most people, but it's there. So there's your other one. And I guess I, I mean, you can see all of them open and close like they should. And there you go. There's all your overhead. I have no idea what this is. This is maybe your main control panel. And there's some sort of clock that was put in here by Silver Streak in 1982. It's still there. I don't know if any of it works. Like I said, never had it hooked up. So back to the front. All the windows seem to be in nice shape. I didn't see any cracks. I didn't see any breaks. I didn't see any issues as far as any of the glass goes. It's all there. Um, I haven't rolled all of the windows open to know if they function like they should, but to my knowledge, they look well put together. I mean, compared to my Spartan, which was 30 years older, um, this is in a lot better shape. So um, going around the base, it doesn't look like there's been any water damage around like the windows and those kind of normal areas. It does it does have some spots on the floor. Well, that looks like it might be kind of soft over there. It does have some spots on the floor, and I'm not sure if this was a factory thing, but it's got these eight plastic skylight cubes. And it, I remember those when they used to build houses back in the 70s and 80s, but they were made out of glass. Obviously this is an RV, so I'm sure they didn't want to use glass. But it looks like it has leaked out of there at some time, and somebody has done some really shoddy repair job on it. So that will need to be addressed. Um, I haven't been in here when it rains, because we're in Lake Havasu and it rarely rains. But by the feel of the floor, the floor is spongy right there. So just be warned that at some point, this dripped onto there and made the floor spongy. So there you go. Um, no idea what's under there. This was the TV antenna, and when I was winding the TV antenna um, up at the place, this little piece came off. The TV antenna worked for what it's worth. This looks like it maybe had a light up here. It doesn't anymore. So, all right, so there's this thing, which probably looks worse than it is. I mean, I have no idea if that's factory or not, but there it is. So it leaks. Uh, there was a dinette over here. I didn't think it was a factory dinette, so I pulled the two legs off the floor, and maybe it was because apparently there's holes in the floor, and uh, I don't know. I'll show you in the back, but all the little ledges are there for storage. Those windows seem to work fine. Uh, getting around to the kitchen. The kitchen, I believe, has the original sink and counter. Um, I don't know if that's the original faucet. I don't know. I just, like I said, I, I would say that you would probably demo this whole thing and just redo it 
may, the overhead cabinets actually look pretty nice and they're probably hard to radius so you may leave those but this to me is just in rough shape like i would probably just take this whole thing out get new cabinets new stove because that stove is just an old piece of shit that the handle's missing it's dirty it's it's gross um the overhead uh, vent thing is there for what that's worth and then um that microwave it works too but i, I don't know what that's worth probably nothing it comes with it so <laughs> a little bonus so there's your kitchen area um air conditioning for what it's worth like i said they told me that it was just serviced and it works they were living in uh, arizona and it was about 115 degrees where they were and uh, the lady was living in it in summer so i guess it works i don't know never plugged it in uh, get to the refrigerator. This is obviously not your factory refrigerator, but this was cold and full of food when I got it. Had to clean it out. And uh, not a great unit as far as aesthetically, but it was cold. The freezer was freezing and it worked. So little bonus. It's got a, it's got a fridge and freezer that works if you were doing this on a budget. Otherwise, buy one that looks a little bit nicer and go. Uh, here's your pantries. There's one side, here's your other side pantry. Here's all your information on the coach. Um, I'm, not, I'm gonna bust through it real quick. So pause it if you wanna see anything. That gives you the year, it gives you all of the information. Pretty standard on an RV, this is what they put in there. So that is on the inside of your pantry. Okay, this configuration of this trailer originally had uh, like his and hers twin beds. At some point in its life, somebody tore out the other twin bed. And when I got it, there was a dresser over here because there was one person living here. She had a bed set up here. And this was kind of like storage, closet, and basically where she would keep all of her stuff. So that is why this is missing. Um, this was her bed and there's just panels covering it and there was a mattress on top of it so this can still be used as a bed those cabinets open um i'll get to the water heater heater in a minute because that was installed in a cabinet back here um, this side you can see it's just wheel well and pretty much it's just wide open so leave it to your imagination put cabinets in do what you'd like that was the table and the legs that were right there i don't know if that's factory so I kept it. If somebody wants it, sweet, you got a table. Okay, um, trying to think if there's anything else over here, probably not. So this water heater was plumbed into new pecs in this whole trailer. And the lady had a hot, wire, hot water, cold water, everything coming in from that outside uh, part that I showed you. And everything worked. It was done very, very poorly. So I kept the water heater because those are a couple hundred bucks and it looked like it was in good shape and it looked like it was reusable at least. But I would honestly say if you're looking at this trailer, you need to replumb it correctly. And I'll show you in the, in the bathroom what I mean. They didn't go through the trouble of getting into the underneath side of the floor and running it through the, the frame area. They did everything kind of surface mount and it just looks like hell. So plan on replumbing this thing just for peace of mind so you know you're not going to have a leak um roof vent is there i believe there's like roof vent covers those kind of things that sweep up and they have like a vent on one side i believe all of this up top has that so here pull this back and you can kind of see the pecs so there is your pecs that was connected to the water heater and that is like i said it's it's run through the trailer, but they did not do a good job. So, all right. Um, and then also at some point, and I don't know why, I don't know what is right here, but there is a soft spot in the floor. It doesn't feel like you're going to fall through it or anything, but I just noticed, just full disclosure, this part of the floor is softer than a lot of the other places. So I, I can't catch it on video. And I mean, it's... You only notice it when you walk on it and like you kind of step down hard, but there is a soft spot right there. So moving into the bathroom, um, it does have a bathroom door. Um, it does have carpet. I don't know. It's not factory carpet. You're going to tear that up. You're not going to reuse that carpet. It's gross. So it's got the carpet. You have your factory or your original sink and um, countertop. A lot of stuff looks like it was it was there in factory. 
It's got a shower that I did not clean because like I said, we were gonna tear this whole thing out. So shower pan is there and everything. I don't know if I've ever looked in there. Oh, there's storage. All right, good times. So moving over to this side, I believe this was where the original water heater resided. I think it was right under here if I'm right on the outside and I think it I think that's what those wires are this is I don't even want to guess I think that's your electrical box house <laughs> I don't know but anyways this is what it looks like in the in the bathroom closet so you got your I don't know shitter tank vent right there the toilet is there and then we get into the pex nightmare so I don't want to say I shouldn't say nightmare it's just it was done not very well so um I, I don't even know i disconnected the water there was water pressure to the trailer when i disconnected it so at least i know the pecs held but it's just not done right like you can see they i think they yeah they, they ran it on the surface of this cabinet along here and i believe oh yeah you can see it in there and they just kind of tied into stuff so like I said, I'm I'm trying to show you everything. Plan on replumbing this thing. I mean, unless you're really, really on a tight budget, it just it needs love when it comes to plumbing. So there's your overhead storage. And I think uh oh there's the one of those covers that I was talking about that kind of lets air out and not in. So yeah, so I hope I've given a good description of the inside, outside, what it needs, what it, what's good, what's bad. That was kind of my shakedown. I just, we were going to gut the whole thing down to the floor and basically redo the whole thing, turn it into a bitchin' Airbnb, build a patio off the front of it. I just thought it would be cool to have a vintage trailer on the property. And the more we thought about it, it just makes more sense for us just to build a casita that is concrete floor, you know, not, not a trailer. So that is the direction that we're going to go. So if I missed anything, if you have any questions, um, please let me know in the comments and I will make another video if you need it. Um, I can send pictures to people if you need pictures of certain areas of the trailer, but just keep in mind again, please, this is a trailer that will need work this is not something that you're gonna just go camp in i hope i've shown that um i'm not i don't want to make it sound worse than what it is because i don't want to talk people out of buying it but again i don't want to sell somebody the dream that this is some turnkey awesome ready to camp in ready to <laughs> ready to use trailer either so please be ready for work and kind of the unexpected and uh yeah that's it so i'll do one more quick walk around outside in case there was something that maybe you'll see this time that wasn't last time you know what i'm gonna jump up in the bed of the truck i've never looked on the roof of this thing so i will show you guys a shot of the roof oh that's interesting <laughs> so somebody has done a patch Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, there we go. There's a shot of the roof. So that is your first roof vent. And it looks like somebody at one point um, patched that roof vent. And it doesn't look like they did a terrible job, really, which is surprising. So, yeah, there's a shot of the roof, too. I've never been up here and looked at it. So, All right. Well, I hope I've showed everything. And... Uh, I know it was a long video, but hopefully you appreciate it if you're looking for it and it either talked you into it or talked you out of it. So have a good one.